All right, it's Wednesday morning. The guys are in. We got two more coming, your, plus yeah, Lurie. Cool Who's your coach? Who's coach? A lot of vibrato at the uh, table now. Nobody's hiked, so they're all confident. Hodge. Coach Hodge? Oh, you played basketball. Well, we hiked this morning. I thought they did hike. They hiked a mile and a half. Now they think they're ready for the That's death right. march. Did you guys hike this morning? Yeah, yeah we did that man. All right, we got a burrito line going. This meat mentor is making ham and potato soup. We got our burrito baristas. Here you go, Lewis. You can. Derek's outside uh -huh. cleaning the RV. Got it. Right. We got a little assembly line here going. Uh, uh, burrito for the trail. Uh, put it on the tortilla. We'll see. I gauge comparing it to the others. All right, we got the burrito line going. Derek's getting the RV ready for the guys tonight. We're taking the RV up. Trying to talk Eli into coming. Eli's on his way. Come on, Eli, let's go. Get in the car. That's what I'm saying, see? <laughs> All right, so we're at, uh, we got seven of us here. We got Cole and Hugh and Lewis and Josh, Mike, Derek. So now we're going to get everybody's prediction. What time they're going to get to the North Rim and what time they're getting out? North Rim, Lodge? Start over here. All right, we'll start with Larry. Like what time? or? Yeah, well, how long? Oh, uh, nine hours. Nine hours to the Lodge. I'm trying to do ten hours both. Both, guys. Both ways. 20 hours. Total. 20 hour round trip. All right. Hey, that's good. Yeah. 10 hours to the north rim and then an hour break. 13 hours, 30 minutes. So 20 to 24. I'll give myself a lot of points like coming back. What are you doing here? I'll probably do, uh, it sounds like you know, hiking up will be uh, obviously more refreshed. So I'll go with 10 hours to the, to the lodge. lodge and try and be back in under 23. All right. Eight. No, I have no Nine. idea. My buddy did it in 1945, so I'm going to do it in 1944. 1944, <laughs> I love it. A little trash talk. When are you getting to the north? Well, I'd have to get there in about 8. And then All right. Hours to chill out at 8. Well, what are you doing, Derek? Well, 10 to the north. I'm dying before I don't think that, if everyone else is going to <laughs> And then... Uh, I'll say... 23 and a half total? All right, I'm getting out 22 and a half total, and I'm hoping to be in a lodge in 10. All right, we're getting all the gear together. Got guys sleeping everywhere. Death March 2018. Got all the burritos made, soup made for when we get back. Most of the guys got their gear packed. It's about 8 o'clock at night. We'll be up at 2, hitting the road, getting out of here. A couple minutes, 4 or 5. Everybody's getting ready. Got to the trailhead, waiting on the RV. We'll be off soon. Well, what are we doing? Somebody what are we doing, y'all? <laughs> hey, we about to hike 50 GC miles Grand in 24 Grand hours, baby. Grand, Grand Canyon, baby. Coda, you gonna stay your ass in here for about, how long are you gonna take? 17 hours? 17 hours. All right, been at it exactly an hour. The guys are cold just past me, the last three. Coming down the trail right there. So an hour to the three mile house. I'm down to my short sleeve. We'll see what kind of cloud cover. The north rim, lots of cloud cover right now. There come, there come the men. Hey, what's up, old man? Doing good. Anybody that's doing this, I don't think you can call them old. You guys are doing cool. good. All right. It takes a long time to, to learn how to be Hang young. In there, Eli. Uh, way to go. Go there, conquer. Woo. There go the men. Here comes more of the team. Oh, there you are. What's up, gorgeous? Don, Min Don Minter uh, Jr. right there. <laughs> Here comes Josh with the bottom. 
Fine Angel River. He's de uh, declothed the layer. Try it. And that's the valley. We're not quite uh, across the river yet, but we'll get there. Got to Indian Gardens exactly an hour and 30. Stripped off the pant leggings and had a potty break and heading out of here in exactly 10 minutes. So an hour and 40 minutes back on the trail. Just below Indian Gardens, right above me, blue skies. But as you can see on the north rim, dark. I'm interested to see what kind of weather we get. A little less than two hours in. Coming up on 10 miles. Got the Colorado. Whew. Oh man. This is a hike, hike. 24 hours, 50 miles. And I think I caught these little young whippersnapper. Hell yeah, baby. There we go. Wow. Wow, wow. Wow. Yo, it's 7.43 at the bridge and the river. Oh, I reckon Phantom Ranch is pretty well right here, I guess. Look at this, homie. Oh my, are you, what? What? Get the guns. Let's see some guns. Dang. Look at them gators he's got on. You can see that girly man coming from a long way away. Nice work, homie. Thanks, man. Boys are lucky I want to capture this. Can barely hold this straight, but there's Eli, Cole, running across. Sorry, Cole, I can't hold my arms still. Eli must be taking a picture. Made it down to the river in two hours and 34 minutes. She is the big muddy today. Still got cloud cover. Morning, y'all. What's going on so far? How's it going? Thank you so much. All right, trying to catch Eli. Cole, hope this is fitting All right. Just past Phantom Ranch. Couldn't find Eli Cole, so I didn't stop. If I'm lucky, they stopped, and I'm getting his stuff. Just got on the bridge, 257. I can't remember last time I made it to the bridge in under three hours, so trying to have a goal to get to the lodge by 10, meaning 10 hours. I haven't done that in eons. Boy, she's the big muddy today. All right, just gonna keep moving. All right, got the Phantom in three hours and 11, and look who I find, Mr. Lewis. Boom, we made it in about three minutes shy of three hours. Excellent, how's so the feet? So we hit our goal, feet are great. Yes. Got a little ache in the big toe just from the pounding, but no blisters. Yeah. A little preventative sock change. I caught my toe in a creek, and cooled off my foot just a little bit, so getting the dry sock on. Good. Feeling good. Everybody else gone? Yeah, they all passed us. Uh, the last time we, last one we saw was Derek and uh, Hughes behind right, me. Right at, the, uh, right at the bridge, so he yeah. was across the bridge before we saw him. In yeah, Hughes right behind me. All right. Good. Got to the fourth bridge, four hours and 21 minutes. It's gorgeous. Not sure you could ask for a nicer hiking day, as long as it doesn't rain on us. It's partly cloudy, but it hasn't rained yet. All right, I end the tail. Joss is up ahead of me. We're the last two, I guess. But no horror stories yet. 
Well, that's good. That's our sky. All right, just got our first sun. Blue skies behind us. Sun. Cloud cover ahead. Let's see what happens. Coming across the swamp, we had sun for maybe two minutes. So just heading into the swamp, crossing it actually. Now we hit the sun field normally, but I think we're gonna have cloud cover. Everybody got to swamp in under five hours. So this team's moving along. All right, the guys are going up and over. I'm taking Ribbon Falls. We figure everybody ought to get to do it once. They're in the bright red and the orange. The guys just crossed over there. So we're at Ribbon Falls Bridge, five hours and 15 minutes. And we did get cloud cover. Okay, Josh is going to decide what he's doing. Whether he's going to turn back or finish up if he can catch a lodge. I mean a shuttle. We're at mile 15-ish, maybe 16-ish. All right, Josh just turned back, I think, and Derek had a rough spell, but he's going to continue on. My vote would have been for him to go back too, but grown men are going to do what they're going to do. So hopefully Josh will head back. That's still a 30 mile plus hike he's going to do. Brutal. We'll see him on the way back. Derek's up ahead of me about a half mile or a mile while I was getting Josh situated. So we'll see what happens. The stories are always fun. All right, went through a rough patch. Had no water for like, I don't know, seven miles, crazy. Pops tried to send me back. We gonna see y'all. Uh... Still one of my favorite falls. Just below Manzanita. Getting ready to make the turn. Six hours and 15 minutes, I think. This is the bowl you turn in at Manzanita. You see the bridge right there. It takes you into the ranger station. Coming into Manzanita at 620. Six hours and 20 minutes. Not too bad given helping the guys out a little bit, getting them going. Got Josh turned around. There's Derek, so I guess he's gonna keep going. Leaving Manzanita as far as death marches go, pretty good. We started out with eight, we got seven to send Josh back. Derek seems to recover after pretty serious dehydration. So it's six hours and 36 minutes and getting ready to head out. I'll head out at 640. I'm hoping I can get to the lodge. I've had to ding around a little bit helping guys, but overall pretty good. Hoping to get to the lodge still in 11 hours. We'll see what happens here. There goes Mr. Lewis. Done a good job leading us to the three mile bridge. We're gonna get there in exactly eight hours, right to the minute. And that means that we have done 20 miles. Three to get out of here and then two to the lodge. <clears throat> Guess we're about 20 miles in. Coming up the north. And it's a doozy. Okay. I'm at 19.3 uh, miles in according to my watch, which who knows how accurate that is, but I'm, I'm going to guess half to three quarters of a mile past Manzanita, and uh, I'm just carousing. I passed Mike, I saw him at Manzanita, I got in like exactly 10 minutes after he did. And then I left just before he did. I don't know. He said he had about three more minutes. But we'll see. Three mile bridge. 20 miles in. Still in North Kaibab. Well, it's raining. So that makes for not fun. Taking some cover. This is the hardest hike of my life. Crazy. Well, as much as I hate it, about 200 feet down from the mule stop, the rain has hit us. So we both have stopped to put our jackets on. It's gonna get cold and wet. 
And you can see behind me, it's pretty gnarly. Two and a half miles to go. Whew. Gotta make up time. Y'all's call, call me Forrest Gump, baby. Let's go. It's four o'clock. Daddy's at the visitor lodge. Almost pretty much died. Whew. Hell yeah. All right, my rim to rim to rim adventure has come to an end. It turned into a rim to rim. I'm at the North Lodge. Uh, it started raining, coming back up in the last three miles, pouring. It was a mud waterfall getting up here to the lodge. And uh, got something to eat. And it has been pouring ever since. It's about 50 degrees, temperature's dropping. And uh, to begin, the hike diminished already into the abyss of the canyon, starting with running for how, how know, who knows how long. Uh, I bagged it, but it's been the adventure of a lifetime. The adventure of a lifetime, it's been awesome. The maniacs are going out, pouring rain. <laughs> All right, a couple of us maniacs are going back down. I just hiked back a mile and seven tenths at the trailhead. I think I left uh, a little bit after five. Not even sure what time it is now. Hopefully the rain is clearing out. We got some trash bags to help with even the weatherproof. And we're heading down now. The guys are a little bit behind me. I got to get out by 5 a.m. I want to be down at uh, Phantom Ranch by 10. We'll see how this goes. This is what we're dealing with going back. Just a nasty mud hole. Ugh. How's that for the rain? I'm getting the rain. That's all just from rain. And don't miss this step. Insanity. Huge cliffs all along here. Woo! All right, it's 7.55. I'm heading out of Manzanita. I left Lodge at 5. That was, uh, that was a good bit of time. Heading out, almost eight. All right, it's 10 o'clock. I'm crossing the first bridge way behind where I wanted to be. A little bit of lighting problem and jacket on and off with the rain starting and stopping. So, could be midnight before I get to Phantom. We'll see. Water and Oh, I was really? Still on water. Yeah. I'm like three or four miles. So we flipped them five bucks and filled up. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> so hopefully they aren't planning on having a lot of stuff. All right, it's 2 30. The guys are in and refreshed. I got here about 11 30. I got a nice nap. Yeah. And they got a little nice. bit of a nap. Now we're going to try to get out of here in, let's say, six hours. Yeah, I think we can do that. Let's do this. Uphill, that'll help your knees. There's the three mile house. What's that? All right, quarter after seven, I'm at three mile house. Eli just took off, let him get ahead. Beautiful day now. But man, was that a miserable hike. Rain, freezing, miserable. We'll remember that one forever. But clear now. So we'll let him get ahead, quarter mile or so, and then head up. 10 minutes after nine, my final ledge. I always like to do a little sit and post here. So I'm guessing we'll get out a little before 10, so that's gonna be a 29 hour hike. <laughs> Eli has battled through, my goodness. His chafing is so bad. Knees are hurting, hips are hurting. But he's kept moving, that's the secret. So it looks like five of the eight made it back. Anywhere from, I don't know what the early guys were, but our time's gonna come in right at, up to somewhere between 29 and 30 hours. So, good hike, long hike. Waiting for Eli to come up over the rim there. And there he comes, smiling and everything. 
but he got her done. You can check the death march off the list. Beautiful day now after all that nasty rain. Gorgeous. ID I lie and I are coming out. 2840. So you be 20 minutes less, right? Yeah. That's so right. he's 2820. Officially. We're stepping out to the top. And Woo. the sun's shining. We finally saw some sun. <laughs> Look like Ray Charles. Trying to get out. <laughs> oh my god. I mean I'm not much better. You got this, man. Did you know yesterday we climbed like 510 stories? Yeah. <laughs> man. No joke, hiking that rim. Uh-huh. Show sure ain't. How's your shovel legs doing? Done. Need to put them in the shop? Done. He can't get up, he. I'm getting there. <laughs> you got this, bro. Just gotta stand up. <laughs> Lean on me when you're not strong. <laughs> Now be your friend. Alright. But he's he was sore. Alright, it's our final video. Dinner before the guys head home. Tomorrow. Two of our we're still up at the cab canyon, we think. Mm. We lost a few. Ham soup and fresh bread.